I was reading this week, um, I don't know much about American football. I've seen one game. It's a bit like rugby, basically, just with, it's a bit slow and a bit more violent. Um, but I was reading about a certain tactic um, that, that this one team used. It was when they really needed to get the ball up the field. They would give the ball to the little fast guy. But the problem with the little guy is he gets flattened. And so in front of the little fast guy, they put the huge guy. And the huge guy just runs down the field. And the little fast guy kind of hides behind him and runs along behind him. And the big guy just kind of plows a field through everybody else so the little guy can get through with the ball. And so everything, everyone who's trying to get to the little guy has to go through the big guy. Everything that's meant to hit the little guy hits the big guy instead. That little guy, he's protected. He is, if you like, in this big guy. He is protected in him. He is safe in him. That's how he gets through. And that's like what happens on the cross. We are in Christ, protected in him. And everything that's supposed to hit us, everything that's written on that piece of paper, hits Jesus instead. That's what's happening on the cross. It's not just solidarity. Jesus is taking our sins, our, the things that's wrong with us, and paying for them. And so Paul says here, verse 15, I just want to make sure I read it from the right version, that he disarmed the powers and authorities. It was like Satan had God's enemy, the devil. Satan had that piece of paper that thing that was against us, that thing that said all of our debts on it, and God ripped it out of his hand and wrote across it, paid in full, no outstanding balance, nothing left to pay, and nailed it onto the cross. Destroyed it completely. 